This is our first international trip in two and a half years, so we're really excited. We brought Toby with us. <laughs> Finally warming up. Oh. All right, guys. Uh, Taylor passed out last night. I did. Today's goal, tamarins. tamarins. Joffrey's tamarins. That's what we're looking for. We better get them. And we're we'll not get gonna. Them on the first we're not flight gonna, out. <laughs> You're getting on the first flight out. Yeah, if we don't see them today. All right. Let's go find tamarins. Let's drive down the road. All right, guys, so we're starting out our day with a morning hike through the jungle. Let's see what we can find. We have a sleepy day. Okay. Went to bed at 3, got up at 6 15, 6 30. And now we're off to start the day again. We no get breakfast. No breakfast. Everything here is closed. Be cool to walk this at night. It's a gorgeous toad, Tay. Show us the toad. There's so many cool looking toads here. Gorgeous. I see his belly. Wait, look at that belly! <laughs> he's emitting his juices on him, he's quite far sick. Look how well that gorgeous toad camouflages. We just saw some monkeys in the trees and their capuchins. How cool. So, if you can hear all the noise behind us, uh, they're starting to come through the jungle, so we're going to get some photos and videos of them as they come through. Our third species of monkey for this trip. How cool is that? So we're gonna keep hiking and see if we can find uh, any tamarins. Oh, awesome. We just found not one, but two, two toad sloths enjoying a midday nap. Could be a mother and its offspring. And this is one of two species of sloths that are found here in Panama. Uh, we're actually gonna pack it up, head back, and go take a siesta. We're gonna film everything we see on the hike back so that we can get some rest for this afternoon and for our night hunt.
Tamarins have been skunking us all day. We are so sorry. Um, but look, sloth up in the tree. Where is it? Right, right, right. Yeah, right there. See it? Spotted by the one and only Taylor while we're out here looking for tamarins. Three sloths, zero tamarins one day. Uh, we just also found that big, what was it, boa? I we think it was a tree boa. boa going up a tree. So uh, things are really picking up. Hopefully we'll find a few more things before the night ends. Taylor at work taking photos. I, I'm basically useless. She does everything now. I know you guys think Rick does most of the footage, but whenever you see good wildlife footage, it's my footage. Come look at this. Do you see that cute sloth? That's cute. Look at that. Look at his little face up there. Nat Geo, here we come. All right, this is so amazing. I know no tamarins so far, but this is a wonderful consolation prize. This is the second species of sloth that's found here in Panama. This is the three-toed sloth. Okay guys, so we're driving here. We're road cruising, we went for a hike. We're kind of tired. We just want to drive for a little bit, see what we can find. We just saw that sloth, that was really cool. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, we finally got a snake, cute little boa, but look, he's already been hit by a car. Isn't that friggin' fantastic? We found one live boa and three boas that have been hit by cars. And they're all baby boas, which means they're being born and moving around right now. And you can but... see he's still alive, but those are pretty fatal injuries. So yeah. just disappointing. We finally got a snake and then poor We've been cruising been for like, what, two hours? Yeah. It's 8.30, we've been cruising since 6.30. What a big bummer. Sucks. Yep. Okay guys, another baby boa. This one's alive though. He's nice looking. Look at the pattern on his head, it's pretty cool. There. Alright, shining. Another vine snake. It's way up in this tree, we had to zoom in. And we're not going to get him down or bother him. We're just going to take a quick video and keep going. Okay, we're basically in South Florida. Boas, crocodiles, and iguanas. Panama is just like home. Except here, these guys are all native. Oh, that was not exciting. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's our highly trained caiman pet in Panama. Sorry. Get, get the camera out. Get the camera out. He's so cute. This little, his tail's been bitten off. He's not even fighting me. No. I swear we didn't set this up. No, you know, that was so dumb. We've hunted so long to find anything. I was so ready for it to go crazy, like when we've caught caiman in other places. <laughs> but he's, he's really skinny, I feel kind of bad. No, I know, he looks sad. <laughs> we go to let Taylor get a video and now it's trying to bite her. It was so good for me. I'm the caiman whisperer. All right, guys, this is pretty cool. We found American Crocs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to barely hold you. All right, get some up close of grumpy, spectacled caiman. See the little, you get the name spectacled caiman. Say they got little, looks like spectacles, little ridges on their eyes. The sharp little teeth. Pretty awesome. It's fun being able to like actually catch the crocodilians. All right, Tay, release time. Um, so as far as like traveling, herping, and looking for wildlife, Panama, the cloud forest is spectacular. Honestly, that cloud forest up there blows away um, Costa Rica's cloud forest. And it's probably one of the favorite places we've ever been. Then you get to the central forest is where we're at now um, around the, the canal. You'll notice a lot of the stuff that we found here, you can find in Florida. Uh, it's not native in Florida, but it is in Florida. If you're it, gonna go birding, yeah. go to the Panama Cloud Forest. As far as herping goes, Panama, especially for like snakes and stuff, you have to work really, really hard. Like last night we were out, well, I don't even know. We're out like 10 hours a night getting yeah, one, two snakes. snakes. So we are actually really excited to get home to see yes. Toby. Thank you guys for joining us and we will see you guys next time. Yep, back in Florida.